So a while ago, it was a YSL member who pretty much had the YSL tattoo scraped off his skin while he was beat inside of jail and they actually recorded it and put that video out. Well, it looks like it look YSL and them have got they lick back allegedly on a YFN member inside the jail. Oh wait, y'all thought that just because they got locked up that the war stops? No, the war within the black community of the gangs don't ever stop until everybody dies. And even once one generation of the people die, there's always another generation who has now been initiated into the gangs, whether they're 10, 11, 12, it doesn't matter, that will continue the war for another years and years and years to come. But anyways, I'm going to get right into the details right after the intro. Check it out, man. All right. Keep talking society. Go ahead and like the video so we can get the story started. Anyways. So pretty much there's a video going around right now. Viral video. It shows wife and Lucci's artist CP3. They've had, of course, songs together, shows together, all this stuff like that. Pretty much inside of the jail getting attacked. Not just getting attacked. I'm talking about he getting attacked by like a whole gang of people. And then right, you know, while he's getting attacked, you can see one little boy with a knife in his hand trying to stab CP3. Now, we say trying to stab, but if you've seen a video, it's the weakest stabs on the planet of the Earth. It's like imagine having something super sharp but then like continuously hitting somebody with it like 20 or 30 times and not piercing their skin at all not even making a scratch mark it's in a way it's like the guy that was trying to do the stabbing was just like following after the gang not having his own mind just doing what he think he's supposed to do uh but not really wanting to actually do it because if you really wanted to stab somebody and it's like 20 of y'all and one of him you would have pretty much got it done uh, but if you've seen a video it's the weakest stabs on the face of the earth right uh uh, so out of that situation, once it was actually over, um, pretty much you see the CP3 guy still looking at the dudes like, yeah, I didn't do nothing to me. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Because he was obviously fighting back. Uh, so he got a lot of brownie points. You know what I'm talking about? Brownie points in the streets uh, for defending himself against all those people. And it could have went tragic if they really wanted to see Buddy injured and hurt and, and, and really destroy. You know what I'm talking about? And then on top of all that, it's like all this was getting recorded. It's like the savages has now started recording the beatings that they're doing inside of the jail first of all i don't know if it's supposed to be phones inside the jail maybe there's some type of new rule where uh some i don't know new rule where the savages are able to get the phones inside the jail i mean everybody knows that they be getting phones inside of jail, but it's like they must be getting the high quality non flip phones, modern phones out of jail because a lot of the stuff is starting to be recorded on the phones and put out to the internet. You know, talking about I'm talking about the, literally recording the stabbing, record everybody that's trying to do it. It's, it Whew, it's difficult. But anyway, now, if y'all seen the video, discuss it down below. Y'all think they really was going to try to cut Buddy up or just the guy that was doing it just did a absolutely terrible job. But either way it goes, the war never stops between the gangs. It's going to continue whether they're in jail. Who knows? Maybe in the afterlife, maybe even inside of hell, they'll still be at war. We'll just have to see how it goes. Let me know some. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.